Right, for any of you guys on Facebook, there's a group where I share everybody's material, well everybody's that I can, and named it Flat Earth and Our Man-Made Skies. I'll leave a link on YouTube to it. Um, it's only 100 and odd members, it did have four or 500 until Facebook axed a load of people. But it's Flat Earth and Our Man-Made Skies. So if you fancy joining or whatever, I, I've changed it back to an open group. I had to close it because of idiots at one point, but it's hard to share from it and stuff like that when it's a closed group, so I've opened it up again. I'd like it to be more popular, I'd like people to share their own stuff instead of just commenting on how bad the sky looks. No, they're welcome to share, the, that's the idea of it, I mean I share stuff from Richie from Boston, I, st I share Mike Decker's stuff and uh, James Lafleur, Impossible Channel, stuff like that, um, all the Flat Earth stuff as well, obviously, because it is flat, I mean what the hell. People have to start questioning what we've been taught. So it's Flat Earth and our man-made skies. Anything not related to that, I tend to post on my own profile, Andrew Pilkington. You know, like um, a call for up, a call for an uprising. He posts some good stuff. So does um, Russian vids. There's plenty of others. I mean. I've got Rob Skiba and oh god, um, Jamie as in a plain truth dot info. I think he's got that account back, or it might be a plain truth too. Either way, Jamie over there posts his stuff pretty regular. And for those who, those of you guys who are watching this and think, oh well, it's all conspiracy theories. I'm afraid it's not theories. Now to me, I I had a look at flat Earth and I tried to disprove it. I couldn't. I couldn't prove the globe. Basically, it's never been proven. It's a theory. It's always been a theory. So is gravity. So are dinosaurs. A whole lot. I'm sure when they get to thirty third degree Freemason that they have to pull off the biggest prank ever. And these are some of the shit they pulled. You know, evolution as well. We're not. There's no evolution. We're the same as we've always been. I mean, they're still bloody monkeys for crying out loud. There won't be monkeys if we've evolved from them, would, would they? Anyway, you've got to find that out yourselves. Don't take my word for it. I mean, like Richie says, he's just a arsehole with a laptop. Well, I'm just a silly bugger with a camera and a PC and a tablet. And a rare genetic disease that makes me shake a little bit now, but never used to. So it's, it's just getting more painful and all that crap, so that's why the videos, um, I don't expect to get any better. Just so you know. But, all we can do is public awareness, isn't it? Public awareness is the only way of fighting back at the moment, but we need to get these aircraft grounded. The House of Commons, back in 2009-2010, it's an online publication. They posted, there's a snot rocket over there, that's why I'm hanging about. Um, it was entitled, Regulations of Geoengineering. So they knew about it back then. On there, they said they wanted to start it as soon as possible. And I don't mean the regulations, I mean the actual geoengineering. That was then. The missus wrote to 10 Downing Street and says, What are the lines in the sky? in 2016. And she got a letter back from the Department of Transport, who it was forwarded to, saying that there's nothing but aircraft exhausts. Don't they talk bullshit? 
me. And people trust the governments, my God. Messy in it over there. Hope it stays in focus. So yeah, blatant lie. Blatant lie after the House of Commons that seven years before was it no five years, six years before said that basically they knew all about it because they were setting rules in place about reducing carbon. Yeah, us carbon, we're not carbon dioxide, we're carbon. Sorry. It's better than monotone. And reducing carbon dioxide. Hang on, we've got all these plants here. They need carbon dioxide. We need them. Take away the plants, you take away us. And all the other life. Cats, dogs, every bloody thing, cows. Don't know about doing away with cows and making printing bloody meat, aren't they? God that's sick. Saying that it saves the cows, but you can guarantee they're not gonna have as many cows, are they? They'll slaughter them anyway. They've got an artificial milk now as well. <laughs> artificial milk. I for one happen to like cow's milk. That part of it I like the way it is, you know. As long as the cows aren't mistreated, which they are. I'm, I've seen um, videos on it, yeah. That's wrong, so wrong that they're mistreated. There's no need for it. We don't have to use them for meat. man-made meat my god how do we know what it is i mean it was only a few years back we found out they're putting horse meat in burgers in tesco's well everything was horse meat wasn't it there was a bit of a fuss over that but it died down people went back to being brain dead i never noticed that black one you know all those black trails Only showing up because the sun's buggered off. Anyway, it's another long video. I'll get off.